What's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today's video, I am going to be reviewing several upcoming Solana NFTs, but the key difference with this video is I'm trying to identify projects early. That is the key, early. This is how I'm able to trade Solana NFTs, make 10, 20, 30 plus Solana a week. Uh, this is how I found out about Champions, which is worth well now over 200 Solana. Not saying any of these projects will do that. And I'm not even telling you guys to buy these projects, but this is how I identify projects early on. I get in on them early, I get their whitelist spots, and then I monitor them very closely leading up to the mint. How are they growing their audience? What does the member count versus the price versus the supply look like for the NFT? I study all these things really closely. I study the team. How is the community interacting? So it's very important that you guys do that as well because I'm sure some of these won't be good to mint and some should be really good to mint. But it's up to you guys to do your own research. Of course, not financial advice. All right, real quick, I just wanted to announce I am hosting a Twitter Spaces this Monday, February 7th, 10 a.m. with the one, the only Meerkat Millionaires Country Club. They just came out with their Roadmap 2.0. They have a bunch of announcements and updates as to what they're working on. If you don't know about this project, they were the ones that started the passive income off of secondary royalty sales. They are the OGs in the Solana NFT space, so I'm really excited to see what they're up to. We also have another project called Age of Sam, which I'm gonna be talking about here in a little bit, along with some other special guests, but that's Monday, February 7th, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. I will have the link for this Twitter spaces linked in the description below, but this is my favorite way to learn about projects is to hear the developers of these communities talking about their projects themselves. So come join us on that Twitter chat. It should be a lot of fun. And real quick, guys, before I get into the first project, this video took me forever to make and do all this research. So if you guys don't mind liking, subscribing, commenting, it would mean the world to me. I put more effort into this video than I do in most videos. So if you guys appreciate this or receive any type of value from this, please consider doing those things. It helps me out a lot with growing this channel. All right, so let's talk about the first one, which is Age of Sam. They mint on February 16th. Says they're Solana's first multi-project hold to earn utility NFT. Earn Solarium during weekly moon missions and compete for economic dominance on the dark side of the moon. D-list, hold, Earn, which by the way, I'm going to have the Discord, Twitter, websites for all these projects linked below, along with this one's light paper. If you want to go over and read that, they have a ton of lore behind their project, which you guys know I always love to see that, and it's pretty detailed. They have this thing called House Soul. So it says, in the age of Sam lore, the 12 factions of House Soul are represented by the following 12 unique Solana projects. So they collaborated with a bunch of different NFTs to add utility to both them and and those NFTs together. And there's some recognizable names here. Soul Punks, Cam One, Piggy Soul Gang, The Fellowship, which is one I just recently minted. You guys should have done a two to three X on that project if you minted it. But it says our primary goal is to reward holders of these Solana projects and bring their communities together in an epic sci-fi adventure. We achieve this by incentivizing our holders to delist their NFTs through an exclusive hold to earn utility. Think of Sam as a rocket booster to your NFT. It says, what is Sam? It's an homage to the astronaut Sam Bell from the fantastic movie Moon, which by the way, I just watched the trailer to that movie and it actually looks really good. So I probably will sit down and watch this movie sometime. It says, Sam is an acronym for Solarium Autonomous Miner. The name of the NFT you will be minting in the film, Moon, Sam goes to the moon, your Sam will also go to the moon, it will all make sense later. Sam is also an exclusive hold to earn utility for holders of projects represented by the 12 factions of House Soul. Keep any of the NFTs in your wallet as you stake your Sam and enjoy up to two times the Solarium rewards. So you get some really big incentive for having these other collaborated partners as well. It says use Solarium to purchase and upgrade facilities 
to build up your moon base and establish economic dominance in your corner of the metaverse. One thing I really liked about this project was the different rarities bring you different amounts of solarium. So commons bring you 2.5, technicians bring you three, uh, and the list goes on. So it gives you a lot of incentive to accumulate the rares, but it also gives some good utility to the more commons. So I think it's really balanced out with the way they designed everything. Uh, their whole staking system I thought was really unique. You have taxes if you pull out your stake too early. So day one, you have a 60% tax and so on. It goes all the way down to day seven where you have no tax if you withdraw your SAM. So this is a really unique play. I like it. It's all laid out here in the light paper if you guys want to go check it out. Let's take a look at the roadmap a little bit. It is a 10,000 supply, so it is a pretty big supply. So they are building out a massive project here. Uh, it says a community wallet will be established with 20% of mint revenue. These funds will be used to purchase a selection of top Solana NFT projects for our weekly prize pool. So they have some additional utility there where you guys have a chance to win NFTs. Uh, they're going to be added on secondary marketplaces. Here's where it gets really cool. The moon missions is where you stake your SAM, their NFT, on a moon mission to earn Solarium, the scarcest resource in the known universe. It says, beware of the darkness that lingers. The darkness is kind of this mystery thing in this project. It says, not much is known about its power. Some say it's capable of manipulating the very essence of life itself. Some moon missions will yield the darkness instead of Solarium. So is this another token? Like, what is the darkness? Kind of a cool play. I like a little bit of mystery behind a project. Uh, they're going to have moon bases in April. Use Solarium to purchase and upgrade facilities to build up your moon base and establish economic dominance in your corner of the metaverse. And then they're going to have a play to earn game. It says fully equipped moon bases, harvesters, and a battle for Solarium. Will you survive or perish in the darkness? And then quarter four, they're going to bring on other partners. They're going to bring on four more partners. They're going to have 12 before the launch, uh, then four more in quarter four of 2022. So they have a trailer here you guys can watch. Uh, what do you guys think about this project? I think it's one of the more unique ones. And uh, I'm curious to hear what they say on that Twitter spaces tomorrow. So I'm excited to learn more about this one. All right, so let's talk about these next three really fast in that they're all kind of similar in that they are whitelist only mints. There's not a whole lot revealed about what they are building or about the team, but there's a lot of hype surrounding these projects. So it's purely from a supply and demand standpoint that I am looking at these projects closely. Like I said, all these are whitelist only mints. So you have to grind it out and get a whitelist spot. Some of them are a lot harder to get whitelist on being that it's such a scarce supply. So Fox Dynasty, it's one everyone's talking about in the alpha chats that I'm involved in. They have some really kind of cool art. It's very cute. Everyone loves foxes. The reactions on their Twitter posts are great. Uh, it's not faked either. There's a lot of people that are talking about this one. If you just look on the right-hand side of their Discord, there's a lot of big names that are in here. They got Solana Monkey Businesses, Borioku Dragons, Tayos, all that good stuff on the right-hand side over here. Uh, but you have to go over here to Whitelist Info to learn how to get a whitelist spot. You are very lucky if you get one. You have to be able to provide value, do different things in order to get the whitelist spots. But um, if you can get on this one, you will probably do well, of course. Do your own research. Uh, we also have Cyber Bulls here, another whitelist only one. This one really has nothing to go off of. Uh, they have a couple animated things here, but tons of reactions, 6,000 followers on Twitter. They're doing something kind of cool where they only release their Discord for very small spurts of time. So that really incentivizes people to follow them and turn the alerts on. Like they had a post here where they released their Discord and then they close it down within a few minutes. So the only way to get in is to follow them and get in as soon as they post that Discord link and hope you're one of the lucky few that can get in there. But not sure what the supply is, not sure what the price is, not sure what they're even building. But just from a hype standpoint, it's one to monitor. Same thing with this one here, Daku Reapers. Uh, I think the artwork on this one's really cool. Not too many projects doing these cool Reaper plays, but these little animated things are cool. The, uh, like I said, the reactions on this one are good too as well. Uh, their Discord is open. They do have different criteria on how to get a whitelist spot. So another one to monitor and maybe get in on early. But hey, you know what? You guys said you wanted to learn how I find these projects. 
This is what I do. I study them. I get on the whitelist. And then, you know, leading up to the mint, I will decide if I buy them or not. Uh, and there's always a level of risk involved with these types of projects, but most of them perform quite well if they're legit. All right, let's go back to talking about some projects that we can actually research and see what they're building out. Dapper Ape High Society is one that just came across my plate. They are very unknown at the time of me making this video, but they have a lot going for them. Their team has been working in the background on this one for a while. They have a ton of different animations already over here on their Twitter that you guys can check out. But this project essentially is customizable avatars for the metaverse. It says they are a Solana-based metaverse project focused on delivering 3D video game characters with metaverse-compatible voxel technology. They only have 555 for the Genesis collection, of which 55 will go into a war chest. They have all the different attributes and everything broken down here if you guys want to look at that. But this project interests me a lot because everyone is into these metaverse plays and you're going to want a 3d avatar to run around as and these guys are the ones that are building that out to be compatible with other metaverse plays let's take a look at their roadmap they came out with a lo-fi radio station i actually like that uh, they're gonna have the genesis mint of 500 apes they're gonna have a global hackathon scholarship application all types of cool stuff that they're up to but ultimately they're minting towards the end of march i believe it is uh, they're going to build an eight mint of 4,500 apes towards their actual mint. Uh, it says they're currently developing proprietary software that allows you to build an ape. All common and OG tier apes can level up their ape to alpha by buying mint to accessories. It says never be stuck holding the bag. Just level up your ape by adding accessories sold separately. It says all DAHS apes will be cross metaverse compatible and available to use as avatar skins in virtual reality and augmented reality settings. We will start by providing sandbox compatibility to alpha apes. The rest of the games will be picked by our community via DAO voting. So what do you guys think about this project? I did really like the team behind it. They are fully doxxed and the team is quite big. You guys can see all of their social medias over here. Their faces are shown. They have their different social accounts and what every person does. They just now started doing some marketing. This one I'm really excited about. I think they have a real actual use for their nft so it's one that i definitely recommend that you go check out i'll have their uh light paper or medium article right here all laid out for you guys too as well if you want to study that but it's one i wanted to bring up to you guys and it's one that i will be watching very closely all right let's talk about the last one retro cartoon crew these guys mint on february 18th their supply is 7400 uh, pretty unique art to them. They got this whole cartoon feel to it. So a lot of people actually like this style of art, but let's see what they're all about. So like I said, 7,400 unique toonies across the Retroverse. The Retroverse is home to diverse groups of toonies, including an international criminal syndicate, as well as a police force hot on their tail. Each toonie is individually verifiable on the Solana blockchain and part of the ever-growing cartoon crew. Like I said, they are going to be minting in mid-February. You guys can take a look at their art here. I think the art's awesome. I like this like retro cartoon feel that they got to them. Uh, and they have some unique kind of play to them with what their project's all about. So it says you're going to have police and then you have your criminals. It says we are the law enforcement division of the Retroverse. It is our duty to defend and uphold justice for every tune. We have issued active bounties against all members of Toon Troop as well as their boss, Monty. We will reward those who find these criminals with an airdrop in Solana. So you guys can see here they have different bounties. This guy's a 20 Solana reward. This guy's a 3 Solana reward. I'm sure they'll have more details as to how this works, but I thought that was quite unique and interesting. They have their roadmap all laid out here. So the first part is just, you know, growing their community. Scene two, they're going to have a merch drop for holders and OGs. You have loot bag implementation as well as more community building. Scene three, future drops exclusive to holders, more benefits in production. And then lastly here, you got each retro cartoon crew holder will receive a bi-weekly loot bag containing a plethora of different potential treasures 
from the Toon Troop vault. This could include RCC merch, other popular NFT collections, a sum of Solana that is used by decision of the community. The possibilities are truly endless as the community decides what is done with the money. They have their whole FAQ section here and they have a team of eight working on the project. So let me know what you guys think about this one. You know, not too much to go off of. I do like this little bounty play. I'm curious to see more details on it and how that works. But this one's mostly kind of going off of the art that you can relate to. They have something unique going for them, but uh, you'd, obviously you'll need more details. So make sure you jump in their discord if this is one you're interested in and study what they're doing. So that's it. Let me know what you guys think about these projects. Comment in the comment section below which one of these projects you like the most. I'm very curious to see what you guys have to say about them. And I just wanted to emphasize one last time that these projects you need to monitor leading up to the mint. Some have really high supplies and they need to grow their following to meet that demand for how much supply they have of that particular NFT. Some of these you may need to study the team because they're very vague and they don't have any information about them. So make sure guys, again, you're doing your own research. I'm not telling you to buy these or not buy these. I'm saying do your own research, follow them, but this is how I get good buys. This is how I study things. This is how I decide what projects I buy into and which ones I do not. But one of the key most important things is that you get in on projects early. A lot of people ask me, how do I find these? I get inside the Discord groups. I study the alpha chats. I study Twitter. I search Twitter all day. I look uh, on, you know, sometimes I look on YouTube. Sometimes I look, uh, you know, in other places, upcoming mint websites. There's lots of ways you can find upcoming mints. The important thing is that you just kind of have a system that you go by and you pick projects the right way. So that's all I got for you guys. Thank you for watching this video. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.